Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Namaskar and a warm welcome to all of you to the class in the second lecture series on Japanese language and culture. So today I have a passage written by one of my students uh, and in the passage he has used the particle they in different ways. So we have done some uh, usage of particle they earlier and uh, we are going to do some now today. So let us see how he has used some of these different ways of uh, using particle day and making our conversation better. So let us see what we have. I will read the passage once and I am sure you will understand most of it. Whatever is left, we are going to do it right here. So. Just listen to the passage very carefully. Samui kara kino watashi wa gozen shichiji han ni okimashita. Ha o migaite asa gohan no tabemashita. Kuji ni bike de kaisha ni ikimashita. Kaisha de shigoto o shimashita. Soshite rokuji han goro tomodachi to ishio ni ryo ni kaerimashita. Sono ato futari de ご飯を作りました。とても疲れていたので、ご飯を食べた後、10時頃寝ました。夕べ雪が降りました。ですから、今日雪で会社に行きませんでした。家で休んでいます。So I'm sure most of it is understood, but there are some places where they has been used in a different way. So let us see what those are. But before that, we'll quickly revise all that we have done. This is in the script for you. There are a lot of kanjis given. You don't have to read all the kanjis, memorize all the kanjis. Try to find the ones that you know. Those are easy. Those have been coming regularly in your uh, conversations and in the passages that I have given you and try to remember those and use them in your writing. Now as you already know particle they can be used in various ways in the language and we have studied particle they for action earlier. For example, you have learnt toshokan de benkyoshimas. So place de is de action. I keep repeating all this again and again so that you can make better sentences and if you have not understood it earlier, you can understand it now. So Toshokan is library and Benkyoshimas you already know. At a place, an action is done. Now, in conversation you can ask, Doshite Toshokan e ikimasu ka? Doshite Toshokan e ikimasu ka? Question. So, well, shizuka desu kara. So, the reason given is shizuka. It is quiet. Desu kara toshokan de benkyo shimasu. Why do I study? Because it is quiet over there. Now, toshokan no naka wa. So now the whole sentence is there, the full complete sentence. Toshokan no naka wa shizuka da kara soko e itte benkyo shimasu. I go over there and then I study. The reason given is it is shizuka, it is quiet. So this is how you will use particle de 
you have also done te form of the verb after performing this activity the second activity is done so once i go to the toshokan where it is very quiet very peaceful i then study over there you can also add time expressions over here toshokan no naka wa shizuka da kara mai nichi every day soko e itte benkyou shimasu or toki doki can also be used which is sometime so you can also add time expressions The second usage of they which we have studied earlier is by means using a certain method using a certain thing an object and performing an activity so let us see what it is over here we are going to do for transport by this means i go from one place to another so mainichi basu de kaisha e ikimas i don't have to elaborate any more because i'm sure you know you can add any mode of transport over here instead of bus bus de densha de kuruma de jitensha de kaisha e ikimas but watashi wa ashi de ikimas is not used aruite ikimas Now we have a small conversation here. Nande kaisha e ikimasu ka? Nande is by what means? So nande kaisha e ikimasu ka? Densha de ikimasu. So over here same pattern densha de ikimasu. Nanji no densha desu ka? You have done nanji, rokuji no densha desu. There is another sentence over here which has nande. Nande Tokyo e ikimasu ka? So the answer is not by means but purpose. Shigoto de ikimasu. So when you are using nande, it has two meanings. One is by what means? By what means? And the second one is why? What is the reason? so from context from what you have been talking about nande is made very very clear though as foreigners we think that if we have nande here and nande here how are we going to differentiate so i think all students from the hindi belt will know how we use kal in hindi kal is also for tomorrow and kal is also for yesterday so in a similar manner from context we can understand now the third usage of particle de that we have learnt was with the help of or means used to perform another activity for example we learnt pen de kakimas in your kaiwa you had watashi wa kado de kado over here is card your debit or credit card Watashi wa kado de haraimasu with the help of by using I will pay is what it means pay by card as is given over here kado de haraimasu or pen de kakimasu or spoon de tabemasu so we have done this earlier now let us see what else we have pen de kaite kudasai so it can also be a request you are filling a form so pen de kaite kudasai enpitsu o en pitsu o tsuka wa nai de kudasai or you hear this a lot when you are writing an exam your teacher will generally say pen de kaite kudasai write in pen pen de kaite kudasai or 
sometimes you have to write in pencil also. So, pen de kakanai de kudasai. So, with the help of pen, you are performing an action. Now, keto de seta o amimas. Keto is wool. Keto de seta o amimas. By some material. Keji de dores o tsukurimas. So, with the help of cloth, I make a dress. So, by using some material, you make another thing. Amimas, the verb is a mu, dictionary form, which means to knit. So, keto de, with the help of keto, what am I able to make? I am able to make a sweater. And sweater is written as seta. Now, what is amibari? Amibari is knitting needles. So, amibari de seta o amimas. I uh, knit a sweater with the help of knitting needles. So, using something, you perform an activity. So, there is a small mistake here. Seta, it's a long sound. Please remember, seta. Now look at this one. Mira wa mainichi kuruma o tsukatte kaisha e ikimas. So she uses a kuruma and goes to office. So mira wa mainichi kuruma de ikimas. That's the meaning. She goes to office every day by car. Now, mira wa PowerPoint o tsukatte hapyo o shimas. So, Mira uses PowerPoint for presentations. So, Mira wa PowerPoint to de with the help of, with the help of or by hapyo o shimas. She does her presentation. There is another one for you. Mira wa kara pen o tsukatte. Kara pen is color. Pen, basically felt pens o tsukatte, report o kakimas. So use and report o kakimas. Mira wa kara pen de by with report o kakimas. So this is how you will use particle de, using something to perform another action. Now, another de which we learnt is used with numbers. So, let us see what this day is. So, hitori de ikimas. I go alone. Minna de ikimasho. Let's go together. Minasan issho ni ikimasho. Together. Now, sanmin de benkyo suru or benkyo shimas. Three of us will do benkyo together. Sanmin de benkyo Shimasho. Let's do benkyo together. So, it could be any number over here. Any number could be used over here. Hitori de, futari de, san nin de, yo nin de, go nin de. Meaning, basically alone or two people, three people, four people, whatever the number. Now, there is another word which is jibun. Jibun de ikimashita. So, what is the difference between hitori de and jibun de? Both have this meaning of alone. So, what is the difference between hitori de and hitori de and jibun? Well, one difference is this is an adjective and this is a noun. But there is a difference in the way you use it or should say the way you understand it or what you are trying to tell your listener. Now, let us see what it means. Now, hitori de means when you do something alone, when you do not take anyone's help, without anyone's help, you perform an action alone. Now, jibun de also means alone. You perform the action alone. But over here, the basic difference is that jibun de 
you can do something alone you have the ability to do something alone something that others can also do you are saying that I did this I performed this action on my own and hitori de means I did something alone that is the difference now I'll give you some sentences and it will make it very clear kirei ni kami wo kumimashita ne kumimas is to braid kumu is the verb kumu means to braid or to plait your hair make a braid so kirei ni kami wo kumimashita ne so desu ka jibun de kami wo kumimashita yo jibun de means i did it alone all by myself i did not take any help so you are telling something that i was able to do it i could do it on my own others can also do it they can also help me but this time i did it on my own so there is also a sense of achievement over here mai nichi kazoku no tame ni jibun de ryori o tsukurimasu so i can always take help from someone to help me uh, cook but i'm trying to tell my listener that my nichi every day for my family i make food myself i don't take any help from anyone so it's just the feeling that you want to convey that i do this myself for someone or just do it for myself on my own now over here you can compare mai nichi hitori de 20 nen no tame ni ryori o tsukurimasu so alone 20 nen no tame ni ryori o tsukurimasu without taking any help i did it alone hitori de 20 nen no tame ni ryori o tsukurimasu for 20 people i make ryori and kazoku no tame ni jibun de ryori o tsukurimasu that i take this trouble of making ryori myself so it's just the feeling that you are conveying over here hitori de alone without anyone's help over here others can do but i do it of choice now seta wa kirei desu ne doko de kaimashita ka jibun de anda seta desu jibun de tsukutta seta desu what does it mean that the person is trying to say that i haven't bought it i could have bought it but i haven't bought it i have made this on my own without anybody's help i have done it all by myself tsukurimashita or amu ah mu i told you earlier amu ami mashita like no mu no m da similarly in past tense anda seta des this is the seta this is the sweater that i have made myself or knitted myself kore wa hitori de anda seta des i haven't taken any help nobody helped me hitori de i have made it so all alone without any now another day which is used in daily conversation say when uh, you go shopping is used to ask or tell price for example futatsu de 100 yen desu so let us see how it is used using de to show amount or cost a certain thing is for this much or so much amount is for this much So let us see. Sen en de ringo no basket o kaimashita. Sen en de. The ringo basket was for sen en. Basically meaning is for. For a certain amount I bought this basket. Yotsu de sen en des. Four of them together. Yotsu de. All of them together 2000 yen this it is 2000 yen you can look at this conversation as well ringo wa ikura desu ka kore wa 
二つで二百円です。このリンゴは一キロで千円です。So there are two baskets lying over there, two heaps of、uh, oranges or apples. You can also have oranges or anything, any noun that you want to put. So this first basket, there are two apples over here. The two present over here are for two hundred yen. Whereas, kono ringo wa this basket, kono ringo no basket to wa, or this ringo wa kono ringo wa ichi kilo de. One kg de sen en des. So one kg of apple is for thousand yen. So that's how you would show cost or a certain thing is for this much or certain number of things is for this much as is shown over here. Over here there is number. Over here also you can see number. Here it is price, so show basically amount or price of a certain object. Now there is lot of day today for you. Some of the usage of day is new, some is old. So another day which is used in our passage, which is towards the end, is yuki day. Now yuki is snow. So let us see what it means. Now, day over here is used for giving reason for doing or not doing an activity. With day, you can also give reason. Let us see what it is. So, there are two sentences over here. Mariko san wa netsu ga arimas. You can see Mariko san has netsu fever. Mariko san wa gakko o yasumu. She is not going to go to school. She is going to take off or take leave. So now, how do you join these two sentences? One is aru kara, aru kara. With kara, you can say because of netsu, Mariko san wa netsu aru kara gakko e ikimasen or gakko o yasumimas. One you can do this. You can also join with de. How is that? Mariko san wa netsu de because of this. Gakko o yasumu. Now you can see over here. Mariko san wa netsu de because of netsu. Kyo today gakko e kimasen. So why is he using kimasen? Why not ikimasen? So the person who is speaking is actually in school. That's how you can use kimasen. Only when you are present at that place, then you can use this word kimasen. So he somehow knows that Mariko San is not going to come today. She has fever. So Mariko San wa netsu de kyo gakko e kimasen. She will not come, and not ikimasen. He could have used ikimasen only when he was outside school. Now, kino byoki de shigoto o shimasen deshita. Because of byoki, because I was not feeling well, because giving reason, I was not feeling well. Shigoto o shimasen deshita. Watashi wa shiken de because of shiken. Party ni ikimasen. So it's a decision I have made because I have shiken tomorrow. Ashita no shiken de party ni ikimasen. So I have a shiken tomorrow. I have a test tomorrow, and thus party e ikimasen. Now, kotoshi no jishin de kotoshi is this year. You can see from the kanji itself. This means ima. Or now, and this is year. So now year means this year. Kotoshi no jishin de. Jishin is earthquake de. So because of jishin, taksan ie ga koware mashita. Lot of houses were destroyed or broken. Kowaru is the verb 
in dictionary form and kowaru means to break. So, koware mashita we can say means break but over here it is being used as destroyed. Now, instead of ie which is a noun you can use ohashi. Ohashi is bridge so you can replace it with ohashi over here and kotoshi no jishin de or you can also say kotoshi no ame de takusan no ie ga koaremashita or takusan no ohashi ga koaremashita ame is rain ame de because of ame because of jishin koare mashita so you can use they like this now for giving the reason there is practice for you ototo wa byoki deshita ototo wa myuen shimashita so ototo wa byoki de so we can remove these two from here because it's the same and join these two sentences with article de with over here byoki de myuen shimashita because he was byoki thus he got admitted to the hospital myuen is getting admitted into the hospital now we have something else in japanese written over here ototo wa ashi o orimashita ototo wa myuen shimashita ototo is younger brother ashi o orimashita oru is the verb which means break to break and ashi is leg so ashi o orimashita how do you think we are going to join these two sentences obviously with de now you will see that this is a verb how do you do it in de form till now you have done only nouns byoki de netsu de jishin de ame de so now this time you have a verb what are you going to do can someone tell me okay we have it right here ashi o otta kara because he broke his leg oru is to break so or to fracture so ototo wa ashi o otta kara myuen shimashita he broke his leg thus he was admitted to the hospital or you can also say ototo wa ashi o otte Nguyen shimashita. He broke his leg and after that Nguyen shimashita. So, after he broke his leg, he was admitted into the hospital. So, te form over here you will see is also similar to de over here which gives reason. You have done the te form and I am sure you can connect it over here with de with nouns de is used with verbs te is used in the te form of the verb now because of some accident because this is a noun over here ototo wa jiko de myuen shita because there was a jiko there was an accident he was admitted to the hospital so there are many other ways we can use particle de we will do those as well sometime but there was a word in our passage in chapter 8 zehi let us see how it is used in our conversation and what it means so as you can see zehi is an adverb and means must by all means or definitely how it is used let us do the conversation rao san itsu indo ni kaerimasu ka raishu no mokuyobi desu ja kaeru mai ni Zehi Tanaka sensei ni atte kudasai. Wakarimasu yo. Zehi means must. So, all this is understood, I am sure. Rao san itsu. 
when indo ni kaerimasu ka indo ni kaerimasu ka or indo e kaerimasu ka you can use whichever raishu no mokuyobi desu next week thursday ja kaeru mai ni before you return so please remember before mai ni verb is in plain form taberu mai ni zehi te o aratte kudasai taberu mai ni you can remove the zehi also and taberu mai ni te o aratte kudasai neru mai ni mai ni denki o keshite kudasai meaning before sleeping switch off the lights uchi o deru mai ni denwa o kakete kudasai denwa o shite kudasai both can be used so mai ni will take plain form of the verb and zehi over here means must tanaka sensei ni atte kudasai it can be used in the beginning over here or somewhere in the middle it doesn't matter as long as it conveys the meaning of must it's always used with a positive verb zehi ikimasen is not used or zehi tabemasen is not used zehi tabete kudasai zehi mite kudasai kono atarashi e ga zehi mite kudasai please watch and he says wakarimasu yo we did wakarimasu in our previous lesson so wakarimasu yo i have understood of course i know over here understood and no both can be used the meaning is clear you don't have to tell me of course i know what i'm supposed to do now we have zehi over here you can see the sentences zehi kondo uchi e asobi ni kite kudasai this is a typical sentence used or phrase used when japanese will call you over or invite you over to their house zehi kondo next time uchi ni asobi ni kite kudasai asobi ni kite kudasai doesn't mean that you come and play over here it is an invitation to spend some time at your house so it's just an invitation asobi ni irashite kudasai would be polite kite kudasai is informal way of inviting someone now zehi ano ega o mite kudasai zehi must watch this film mite kudasai it's a polite request encouraging someone to do something and you will see it is always in positive then zehi mata aimashou of course another typical phrase the japanese use zehi mata ai mashou must must meet again must must is the meaning must must very very emphatically zehi mata ai mashou let's meet definitely sometime soon so i have some kanji for you there was this word last time hitotsu counter for small irregular object hitotsu futatsu mitsu so the su plus number shows how many small irregular things are there so hitotsu one and su just simple like hitori one and hito so hito ri for counting people this is counting objects irregular objects now there was this word show show if you remember last time in your conversation there was this phrase show show o machi kudasai so we did this kanji last time 1 2 3 and 4 this also means sukoshi sukoshi meaning little few less but used for things only skoshi so one reading is sho and one reading is skoshi now these two 
will be read like this show show i think i did it with you at that time basically this character here means that this is a repetition of this reading so show 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 omachi kuda sai now you can see over here like this this is the stroke order please remember sometimes when i'm writing here the stroke order does change now this time i'm telling you this is the stroke order center line first left right and then this is the last one sho sho omachi kuda sai meaning please wait for a minute or for a while now there are a lot of words like this we'll do some other words which have this character and the first reading is repeated so you have done some of them some of them we will do now you already know this word hito over here hito and this is bito hito bito lot of people hito and bito like this this character or this symbol is not of n4 this is done much later but because we have done the word over here so you can just memorize and you will know that this means that the first reading has to be repeated now toki doki toki doki you have also done this toki doki means sometime but if you actually look at the character it is time 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 is what it means basically this is the meaning toki doki now toki and doki and this is do toki do ki so you have sho sho hitobito toki doki and then you also have betsu betsu we did this word in our passage betsu betsu separate separate so betsu betsu means separately this this and then this so this is small like this and then this betsu and betsu 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 this word is new for you you can remember the character as well means separate now there is another word you have done it a number of times this is iro iro one two three four and five like this and then iro iro meaning different types of different things iro iro na mono ga arimas iro iro na mono ga arimas iro iro na hito hito mo i mas it's very difficult to write here the pen keeps slipping so please forgive that now similar looking kanji as i had said i'm going to do with you so there is one kanji here today you have done this kanji character which is nan or nani and this character is onaji o na ji now how is it made very very simple like this and a kuchi over here onaji so very similar to nan please don't confuse this is onaji and this is nan or nani so i will try to do more similar looking kanjis more of these easy kanji is with you so that you can remember them as words you know the words so it's easy now to do the kanji and there is something interesting for you today there was this passage in the beginning and now 
the same passage I have made into Kaiva. Read this today at home and we will discuss this in our next class. There are a lot of question words how you are going to change a passage into a Kaiva. This is in your uh, script. There are a lot of kanjis that you know. Some kanjis we did right now. So, figure those out. Write them and practice with your partner. Now, there is vocabulary. Do the vocabulary and come prepared for your lesson. So, with this, I would like to finish today's class. There is a lot of particle they that we did today, different usage of particle they, how to use it in sentences, what is the difference between nan de uh, which is why and nan de by what means. There is similar looking kanji also for you, uh, words uh, where you repeat the first reading for example, iro iro. So, try to find some more words like this, try to make sentences and we will meet again in our next class very soon. Till then, arigato and mata aimashou.